Mr. Bowtie's Texas High School Sports Machine is driven by Henry Finley and McCombs Ford West. A proud supporter of all area local sports, McCombs Ford West, simply the best. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage not found on TV or in a cheap web stream. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and you're going to make my dogs think I'm the best person in the world. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. District 27-4A, San Antonio Davenport taking on Geronimo Navarro. Davenport, just their second year of existence, can wrap up the district title with a win. Navarro is in the middle of a battle of four teams for three playoff spots, along with Wimberley, Fredericksburg, and Bernie. So both teams with a lot on the line. Could Davenport wrap up the district title or Navarro break free from the pack? Let's check out all the action from here in San Antonio, presented by McCombs Ford West. The match was also Kenny Loggins Appreciation Night. Both Navarro and Davenport warmed up to Loggins' classic song, Footloose. <laughs> Football coach J.D. Zimmerhanzo also dances to Footloose, but due to FCC rules, we cannot show it. Trust me, folks, we're doing it to protect you. Of course, being a semi-good journalist, I asked some of the Davenport players who sang Footloose. Uh, I have no clue. Ashton, who sang Footloose? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Talon, come on, sa Johnny save your- Cash. Johnny Cash. <laughs> no, it was not the man in black, it was Kenny Loggins. Yeah, we don't know who that is, but we do dance to that song, like, like every song. single day. Oh boy, I feel old. For Navarro, it was another Kenny Loggins famous song that described the match, Highway to the Danger Zone.
Davenport was in control the majority of the match with early runs in the first two sets, giving him the lead and cruised to a straight set win 19-16-14 to clinch District 27-4A. Davenport is now 31-5 on the season and a district champion in just its second year of existence. Last year, to be honest, we didn't really like expect that. We knew that we weren't going to get the district title, but this year, even during preseason, we just felt it. We we're like, this is our year. This is the time that we're going to work hard and just we just felt it as a team that this is the year that we're going to get district title. We're all on the same page. Like we all have the end goal. I feel like that's a big part. Like we all have to want the same thing. We all like our end goal is to win state. And I think like it's all about the mindset. Like you can have the best skills but have the worst mindset and like not think you're going to win state. And then that like makes you like downplay, but I, we're all on the same page. We have a new coach and she's really brought something like really great to the team. We all want to work harder. We come here and we're ready to work and we want to get better no matter what. And every time we play, we have a goal to get better and win. And that's really what we do. My teammates have really helped me like get to know everybody on the team and like help me grow on the team. And I think that has helped a lot with just everyone's being nice and welcoming me. The Panthers will continue to battle to get one of the other spots. A second or third place finish means likely at least a first round playoff win. Reporting from the new home of Kenny Loggins, I am Footloose. I mean, Mr. Bowtie.